Right then, we should be live. Um, I don't know who's in the chat or anything, but if anyone is in there, please tell me, is it okay? Is the audio okay? Is the video okay? I am using um, OBS. I am using Open Broadcaster software, Open Broadcast software. Um, I do think I have cracked it, although this stream might kind of be like a plane going through a storm it might catch some turbulence so the st this stream might not be perfect so i apologize about that um I, I have got a message from obs saying i am using um quite a bit of my cpu don't know what that means really but i have got a message that keeps uh, popping up although the stream status is good um i do know how to rectify the high cpu usage though um, I can actually decrease a bit rate and um, I can decrease, I think that if I decrease the audio to 44.1 kilohertz or something, that might have an effect on it as well. But I can only do that when I stream next time. Otherwise, I have to close down this event and redo it all. And I'm not going to do that. So just tell me, is it okay? If it's a bit choppy, I understand. It might not be perfect, but I know how to rectify that for next time if it is. Um, so we've got three people watching, I think. Oh, no, we've got a lot more than three. Is it okay? Yeah, Adam says, hi, Ad. Seems fine to me. Great. George is in there. George Ross, all good. He um, Heather's in there. Uh, we've got Lu we've got a few different names in there, actually. We've got Diesel Engine Freak. Uh, we've got Adam Kelsey, I think he's been uh, on my... Oh, no, he's new to my channel. Oh, right, great. Um, I, I kind of... And Jason Entwistle is in there as well. I kind of did it at this time today because I wanted to reach out to a new audience. I wanted to reach out to those who are in work at, you know, like 2 o'clock and stuff. So, obviously, by this time, people have got in. So, I wanted to reach that audience while I'm live so I can chat to some of the guys who always seem to have to catch up on my live streams so yeah just again please do let me know if it's okay please let me know if it messes up um, I'm gonna try and be quite quick with this haul because as I say I don't know how long it's gonna be okay for I'm really quite new to the OBS software and if you have live streamed with OBS before and you're not really a techie um, you'll kind of understand my struggle with it and stuff. It is quite uh, hard to get to grips with. I was actually trying to sort it out for about six hours yesterday throughout the day. So, yeah. Uh, and actually, when I'm live streaming on YouTube, there's a whole different setup. There's a whole different setup to learn. I'm, I'm actually in the live control room now rather than uh, going through Google, uh, Google, not Google Ads, and Google um Hangout, so it's completely different. So yeah, just bear with me. I'll get it right over the next few days. Um, but everyone seems to be fine. Everyone's saying it's fine. So we've got Phoebe in there. Hi, Phoebe. Um, we've got Scooby Doo in there. I think he was the first one in there. Um, so yeah, one second. I'll just check how many people are watching. It says twelve. I don't know whether that's right or not, but I'm gonna go off that number. Um, right, I'll flip back onto this stream. Uh, stream status is still good. I am going to be a bit of a freak in this stream and I'm going to have to keep checking the stream status just to be sure. But anyway, we'll start now. So, went to the charity shops today as usual. Been a bit of a dip recently. June, coming into early July, there's been a bit of a dip with the charity shops. Um, and I can't remember last year how it was with the charity shops. I can't remember whether they did take a dip this sort of uh, time of year. But you would imagine so because a lot of the people who are normally donating to charity shops are going to car boot for their items. Yes, maybe some of the items are getting donated after the car boot on the way home, but it's not going to necessarily be the best quality items because they've already been picked for at the car boot. So, this time of year it can be a bit hit or miss with charity shops. Generally, a really good time for charity shops is between like Jan and March, I always find is pretty good. And between about September and November, sometimes December can tail off a bit, but September to November can be quite good as well because obviously the boot sales are finishing, people are then just donating straight to charity shops rather than doing the boot sales. Or if they're not donating straight to charity shops, they're just whacking it on eBay. But 
yeah, so, so that's what I've found anyway. I, I really do like to analyse with charity shops. I really like to look into them uh, because I, I, I just like charity shops. I like charity shopping. I've always liked charity shopping. So, um, yeah, I will get straight on with it. I'll get back to the chat as well. Um, the camera runs. Hi, Jason. Well, everyone's just saying hi in the chat. So, let's get on with it. So, uh, first off, I'll do the best item first. I'll do the best item first. Sorry, I'm just flicking back onto the screen. Uh, so I, then I can see myself. Awesome, 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 awesome item. Brand new and sealed 20 questions. I have to admit, don't know if you can see that very well, but it has got a crack here. I don't know if you can see there. Is it? There is a crack in the uh, plastic. Um, 1.99. Now I've actually had, this is weird actually. Oh, I don't think that's showing up very well. It might be the light. It, it is getting a bit dark because it's going a bit sort of overcast here. But, um, yeah, one ninety nine paid. And the weird thing is, I got a seal 20 questions quite a while back from the same charity shop for the same price, which is really odd. But, yeah, I suppose that's the way it goes, isn't it? Um, yeah, so second seal one I've had. I did scan it into Amazon. Um, if I've got the right listing, because I know there's a few different versions of this, but if I've got the right listing, uh, there's one FBA, uh, one FBA offer from uh, 50 quid. Now, 97,000 in toys and games, so worth sending in. Um, and I'm actually thinking maybe going a little bit higher because obviously I'm, I'm putting this in the Christmas box and it's going to Christmas. But I don't know how much that crack is going to harm it. Obviously, I'm going to have to sell it as like new. Um, but I still think 50 is, is achievable even with that crack. Um, so yeah, that's that. So 2 quid into 50 quid, great start. And I think that was second item of the day, so that was good. So I got that, that was always nice. Charity shops did seem to pick up today compared to other days. Uh, yes, ads, I shared my recent seal 20 q from FBA. Yes, you did. Um, Great, great pickup. I, I love finding them. I don't know what it is. I've not found one in so long, and I just love finding those items. So next, I got a fairly standard Ben 10 Omni Switch. It does do some sounds, but I think the batteries are gone, and they're those little round ones. And I don't know whether I have those round ones or not. I think my mum might have some, but. Yeah, I'm, I'll obviously have to check that. If it's in working condition, I think these this is this is only a fairly basic one. I imagine like twelve to fifteen quid on the basic one. I know like the light up ones and stuff you can get twenty twenty five for, but I don't know maybe just about fifteen on that, maybe a little less, but still nice. I got around fifty and it went to Spain, so an extra twenty percent. Oh, that's good. Oh, do you put do you only put twenty percent on your FBA listings for um across Europe? God, 20, are you sure? So, all you, or are you referring to something else? Where you, like, put your percentage in, is that all you put on? 20%? I put on, like, 40 or 50%. Because it's so, I just, I, uh, I just can't be bothered. The fees are so high, I have to put it up so much. Um, I know purely, I was in, oh, I think we're just talking in the chat. It's okay, I think Jason and Heather were just having a chat in the chat. A chat in the chat? <laughs> Whatever. Um. Right, next item. I'm going to show you something that I got for my uh, friend Daniel's birthday. Um, so I'm, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take a whisk and hope that he doesn't watch this video. He does watch a few of my videos, but I don't think he's going to be watching this one because he is away on holiday at the moment. So I don't think he'll watch this one. Um, but I did get him this for his birthday from a local sort of like antique vintage shop. Um, it's actually Bakelite, if I can get it open, it's Bakelite case, not just Bakelite, but Bakelite case, really nice little item actually this, I don't think it's got mega mega age to it, but it's certainly got some age to it, and it's a, um, a, Co a Cozon uh, Dominion model blood pressure standard, made in England, pretty, pretty cool, I know I can't really show it you very well, but it's in there. Uh, nice item, and for every birthday, I actually get him a vintage or antique medical related item uh, because obviously he's studying to become a doctor. And then I, I figured that by the time he's about 50, all those birthdays of me building up a collection for him, he'll have a collection that's worth thousands. And then if he wants to sell it in his old age to pay for a cruise or whatever, fair enough, you know, that's okay with me. 
Um, but yeah, so I, that's what I do every year. I get him a nice little uh, vintage or antique medical item. So that was that was really good. I actually I shouldn't really say how much I paid because then he'll know. But right, um, the dealer wanted twenty five, but I managed to barter a little bit in the shop and got him down to twenty. Well, I didn't. I say that. I say I'd bartered. Willie really just said you can have it for twenty, mate, if you want it, because he knew I was a bit like on the fence. I was giving him a bit of a silent treatment, but. Yeah, but that's really nice, so a nice little case there. So I just thought I'd show you that. I'm not going to resell it. I imagine there's like a tiny profit, you know, if I was to resell it, maybe 30 quid, something like that. I really don't know. I'm just guessing, just going off instinct. But yeah, so that's that one anyway. So that was nice, and that's that's his birthday present sorted. And that's always quite a hard one because I need to find the right item for him. Um, So yeah, that's that one. What have we got in the chat? Uh, great BP monitor ads, keyword that as a prop. No, I'm not selling it, so I'm not selling it. Um, yeah, but I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm sure I could make a tiny profit on it if I were to sell it. Um, oh, George says, went to 30% but didn't get any sales for a while, so put it, yeah, I mean, to, be, to tell you the truth, I've got mine at 40 or 50% and the sales are very, very slow, but I just do that because I want, because the fees are quite high and stuff, I'd rather have slower sales there over on the European markets and get, you know, get a good mark upon them and have loads of sales that the fees are eating away at a little bit, you know, eating away at the profit. Um, but yeah, I have to, you know, I have to agree, sales do slow up when you do that. Uh, we've got Zaheer in the chat. Hi there, Zaheer. Uh, just showing a few of my charity shop purchases. Um, I've already shown a Seal 20Q. A Ben 10 Omnitrix watch, um, uh, and then a blood pressure monitor for my friend Daniel's birthday. So, yeah, I was really happy with the Seal 20Q. There it is if you want to see it. One ninety nine a page, so really happy with that. You can tell I'm really happy with that. So, next item. Oh, since the here's just joined the chat, we'll do this item here. So, this is, I'll just get the... Uh, Oh, and uh, also V, I've I'm, I'm actually streaming with OBS, and it seems to be okay. Um, although it is giving me a warning that I've got high CPU usage, so I'm actually gonna for the next stream I'm gonna uh, tone down the bit rate slightly, and the I'm changing the audio from 48 to 44.1. See if that helps any. Don't know whether it will, but I'm just gonna do that. But yeah, happy that it is kind of working at least. So this is the user here, here we go, I thought I'd show you this, uh, Panasonic SuperDrive VHS player, um, I thought this would be better than it is, I paid a tenner, don't know where you can see that, but I paid a tenner for it from Zoo Rider, um, I instantly saw it and looked at that SuperDrive, you know that Super SuperDrive, that catches my attention, because Pete, I'm sure, I don't know who it was, but it was loads of people actually have said this, look for the Super VHS, and I always mistake that for the Super VHS, unless that is Super VHS. But I don't think it is. I think Super Drive is a different thing. But anyway, I thought, oh, Super Drive, that must be that Super VHS thing. Picked it up for a tenner on Instinct. To be honest, I'm still going to be looking to get about 40 quid plus postage on this. I've seen them go a little bit higher, and I've seen them go lower. But I feel about £40, maybe, maybe shoot for 50 but £40 plus postage is about right on that. It does come with the... Well, it does come with a remote. I don't know whether it's the exact one, but it should work with it. And I've seen that be, I've seen that remote being sold with with it before. And obviously the Scarlet lead there. I always keep a few of these handy just in case I get VHS players that uh, don't have one. It just, they're only peanuts on eBay. They're like two quid, three quid on eBay. So I always keep a few of them handy. I actually need to buy some more of them because I've got hardly any left. Um, so yeah, that's that anyway, 10 quid, hopefully get about 40 quid. Um, I will show you, oh right, basically for Amazon I've got a box with um, about 10 PS2 games in, some of them are like £20 games, and they've just sat there for about, I'd say about a month, maybe a bit more, probably about a month, um, and I've not been able to find a PS2. Now normally PS2s are everywhere, you can, you can get them in charity shops, you can get them at car boots, and you know, you normally play like five quid. If, if it's a charity shop, you might pay, pay ten quid for one. Um, 
and I've not been able to find one anywhere. So I was walking past cash generators today. I don't really normally look in there, to be honest. I mean, I've had, I've bought a few things from there, but I just don't normally. I might have a quick look at the window, but I don't normally go in or anything. Um, but this time I, I was walking past. I just quickly looked at the window and saw PlayStation 2 console. I thought, oh yeah, great. And and this was when I was halfway through the day, and I was thinking, hey, the charity shops are picked up today. It's going quite well. Because to be honest, this is one of uh, not necessarily the biggest, but good value hauls from the charity shops I've had in a while. It really has been quite poor. I mean, I've been coming away sometimes from 10 to 12 charity shops with just one or two items, which really has, you know, been poor. So, um, I, I got this, I got this PS2. It's got its little, like, lottery raffle ticket thing on for the cash generator to use as a sort of itemizing system or something. Uh, not in the best condition. Oh, here we go. Cash generator warranty on it there. Don't know where you see that. Uh, not in the best condition, but I can clean it up. I can get I can get rid of some of the dust and the dirt inside places. But what I might what I might actually do is just keep this one for testing. So I've got the unit itself. This is for ten pound ninety eight because I had to pay an extra ninety nine p for the other controller. So I've got the unit itself, um, the power lead and the AV lead, and then. Um, what one controller came with it for the 9.99, so that is obviously it needs a bit of um, cleaning. It's a bit dirty and dusty around here and around there, around around there and stuff around the thumbsticks. Um, so that was 9.99, and then I paid an extra 99p for another controller because he had another controller, and I'm not gonna say no to that. So yeah, I paid. 1098 for that, but what I might do is keep the PS2 for a while for testing and then sell one of the controllers and hopefully I should be able to get about 15 quid on FBA for a controller, 12 to 15, but obviously 15 um, as we come close to fourth quarter or even you probably get 15 now. Um, but then that pays for most of the PS2 I and mean, then if I want to sell the PS2 in a few months time or whatever I will, but I always seem to... Uh, I don't know, I, I come across them quite a lot, but when I need them, you know, when you need something, it's never there, and it, it and it's just been like that recently, so I do have, a, I have two PS3s actually, I have, I think, I, I think, I think do I have, oh I, yeah, I have an Xbox, I have, and I have two PS3s, uh, which I actually need to sell one of the PS3s, because I don't need two PS3s to test stuff, and I've never needed a PS2 to test stuff, because I could always get one. But, you know, as I say, the last month I've not been able to get one, so I might keep that one t for testing, just so then I've got one there all the time. I just like that. I know a lot of people say, you know, you don't need to, to keep consoles for testing because, you know, you can always pick them up and stuff. And you can, but I just like them there so that then I know I've got them there. So I might do that with the PS2. Um, but I might come, I'll probably come to sell it at some point. Uh, who have we got now in the chat? Uh, we've got C. Oh, how do you say that name? Sid K. Sib K. Sib K. Have I got that right? Have I got that right? Finally, Sib K. We've got Dave Roland in the chat. Hi there. Um, I'm going to be testing some um of my electronic games tomorrow. Um, I have after work tomorrow. Um, afternoon. Remember, rest of Friday. Then list Friday night and sat. Nice. Good plan. Um. Good to, sorry, uh, good to get, I'm just having a read, great to get a PS2, controller leads, and lots of games listed. Uh, right then, oh, Graham's in the chat, how many have we got watching now? Oh, 28, not bad, not bad. Um, nice VCR, yes, SVCRs are good money, but you still did well there, oh, okay, that's alright. Um, uh, where are we? I think that's every oh great stuff ad shows you know your stuff. What's that? What stuff? Do I know what stuff? I don't know. Yeah, to be honest, if you go back to one of my first videos, I was I didn't have a clue. Now I still don't have a clue. Trust me, I've got so much to learn. But yeah, I, I sort of have a bit of knowledge. Yeah, I would say so. I can I can I can grant myself that. Um. So next, this isn't a fail. I'll still make profit on it, but. It just wasn't as good as I hoped. So in this bag, um, so for four ninety nine, I got this bag of some of them are die cast, other ones are like plasticky ones, and these are all like the 
the less brands, you know, but not the great brands. Like, what is it? B-R-U-A-G-O, because I can't pronounce that. It's like Burago or something. And then there's that M one where it's like M-A-I-S-T-O, Misato or something. I can't pronounce them, but they're all in there. They're slightly lesser brands. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of those models from those brands can do really well, but these are only small, piddly ones, and I don't think we're going to do that great. Um, so that was all like, mm, not great, but I paid 4 for that, and then also, these were all like the die cast ones now, most of these, well, pretty much all of these are only going to go for about 3 to 10, well, some 3 to 6 pound each, but others like only 3 to, uh, maybe you might get 10 pound for one, but it's, it's maybe doubtable, and that's what I was thinking, oh, hang on a minute, these could be a bit better than they actually are. Because I've had die cast in the past and I've done quite well with them and uh, made a bit more than, I've, than I will do on these ones. But yeah, this one is a Corgi Ferrari. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing with these is probably job lotting if I can. If there's any way of job lotting them and just sort of move them on and see what I get for them, see what I can get for them. I mean, I might make 20 quid out of the, you know, the other brand ones and the Corgi ones, 20 or 30. But I just thought it might be a bit better than that. Um, I got this one, which is heavily play worn. I'll go through them quite quickly now, actually. Which is a Corgi Major Major Toys uh, Mac truck. That might be okay, but well, it would have been okay if it had the actual trailer and it was not as play worn. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. Uh, now I thought this one was going to be pretty good. I thought, oh yeah, 10, 15 quid on this one. It's a uh, Matchbox Super Kings. K9 fire tender, um, yeah, I mean, I'd probably be, be lucky to get about £5 plus postage out of that, really. That's what I saw a lot of them go for. I think one person managed to get £8 plus postage, but it, they took a best offer. So, not great on that. I thought it would be better than it is. What my plan was, is if any were like £10 or so, I'd lift them individually. And then the rest, I'd just job lot and get rid. Because that's what I always do now. I think people hold up too much on getting every penny out of everything what i do is i analyze the things in the job lot and anything that's like all right money say i buy a job lot for 10 quid and there's maybe three 10 pound items in there right or no well let's say there's one 30 pound item in there right i'll sell that and then if the rest are like mm, you know three to six pound items i'll sometimes job lot them up in maybe two or three job lots specific to what they actually are. So, for example, if I had maybe three little Ferraris and they were all worth three to six pound each, I'd maybe job lot them for ten quid plus postage or something like that, maybe fifteen quid, and see what we do, see how we go. Um, or if I had like something like pottery and there was, um, say, you know, again, I paid ten pound for the job lot and there was a nice piece in there, but the rest was pretty crap. I'm, I'm trying to learn to just either get rid of it or auction some off in like a big mixed lot on eBay. You see them all the time pop up like you'll see the video game lots like random job lot of video game wires and stuff and I've done that in the past where you just like bundle up all your crap and then just auction it off. Um, and that's what I try to, try to do, you know, and not hold on to all this random crap because that's what ends up, when, what ends up forming your piles of shame. It just just doesn't really work. Right, I'm just going to check in on the stream health. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So I think it's not going to be too bad. Um, we have sound and good connection tonight. Yeah, don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's uh, you know, now I've cracked this OBS, uh, touch wood. Maybe it's all all right. But anyway, so that was some of them. I've got, um, yeah, all these are all either Corgi or uh, Matchbox. So, as I say, I might end up just job lotting some of these up. Um, I thought this one was going to be better than it is, but it doesn't seem to be. Like, in, in mint condition, with with its box and everything, yeah, it's good. But in that condition, uh, it's not going to be great. I might end up selling it individually, but, yeah. But you've got to try these things, you know. I thought I was in for a good deal there, and I make a bit of profit, but I just wasn't in for as good a deal as I thought. Um... Oh, that isn't Corgi, that's a Boo-Racco, Boo-Racco, Rago, Rago, I don't know. So I'll put that in there. 
and then there was just this one. This is a Porsche 917 Corgi Toys with wheels. So yeah. Anyway, so that's some of them. There is a couple more there, but I'm not going to bother showing you that. Um, I think that is everything. I got a couple of Nintendo Wii things that arrived in the post today, but I don't think you really want to see them. Um, so yeah, I mean, not major haul in terms of items, but I mean, there's probably, let's just tie up, let's say I can get 46 for that, 40 plus postage, 50 for that, that's 96, 15 for that, that's 111, uh, Corgi 30, that's 141, um, one PS2 pad, 156, if I were to sell the PS2 and a pad, maybe 45, 191, so 191 pound, and I think I spent, I think I spent about 30 quid, 20 or 30 quid, I think it came in at, well, the, yeah, it must have been over 20 quid, because that VHS, yeah, I think it was about 30 quid in total, so 30 quid into 191, gross, obviously, gross turnover, that's not too bad, that's all right. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that, I'll leave it there guys, I know it was quite a quick one, but you know, there wasn't tons to show you, but it, some of it was okay, um, right, what have we got in the chat, I'll just quickly have a look in the chat, were the diecast CS ads, yeah, it was from a CS, yeah, it was from a charity shop, um, right, and, oh, yo, what have I missed, you've missed the entire thing, David, <laughs> as always, hey, we've got 32 people watching, now that's cool, Oh, if you're wondering, David, I managed to figure out that OBS thing. That's what we're streaming on now, which is cool. Um, so hopefully I can do that tomorrow with... Oh, yeah, just to let you know as well before I actually go and or before I have another look and chat. Um, tomorrow I am doing a live stream at Half One Thursday Talks, episode 80, with my grandparents, and we are doing a auction haul. If you can't catch it live, I understand. Um, but yeah, please feel free to catch it on the on the recording um, because it should be a good one. I don't know how well it's going to work in terms of fitting us all in this little area. Don't know whether you know, but I mean, or whether you can actually gauge. But this is actually my bed is like right here, so you know it's. It's pretty hard to fit people in, like, my grandma will have to be there, my granddad will have to be there or something. It's going to be very tight, and then we've got all this stuff laid out around us, so I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm sure it'll be a laugh anyway, and I'm sure we'll throw some jokes in there or something. So, yeah, don't forget to check that out. Um, uh, Sib K, maybe it's not ads, maybe it's David at fault. So, why, what are we on about here? Uh, that's jinxed it. What are we on about? I don't even know. Uh, cheers, mate. Not the most exciting videos, but if people like them, I can't complain. Uh, do, 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 Peter A. Oh, right. Is that? Oh, they're just having a chat. I think that's what that is. They're just having a chat. Um, think I might have found a record for highest price Wii console only. No cables at C Shop today. Go on, Jason. Uh, no, I thought it was Jason. Uh, Scooby Doo, go on. How much was it? Twenty nine ninety nine or something. I'm guessing it's around that. I've seen, oh, I've seen so many over overpriced consoles in charity shops, but you know it's their prerogative to price them high. So you know if they want to do it, they want to do it. Car boot collectors are in the chat. Hi there. Um, so if you've got any more questions just before I go, please do fire them, uh, fire away. If not, I will uh, say good night. Um, I have edited as well this morning. Um, I edited the, uh, you know, the cat video, so you will be able to see the new member of our family. That's going to come out, come out on Friday because I have this weird supernatural rule about not doing more than one video a day because apparently, uh, you know, due to uh, YouTube's algorithm or something, it's not good to do uh, too many videos in a day or two videos in a day or whatever it is. I think you can do two or three videos in a day but if you do that they have to be really spread out but I just like doing you know one video a day is my max I can't go more than that so that video is going to have to wait till Friday now because I've done a video tonight I'm doing Thursday talk tomorrow so that one will have to be Friday and the great thing again oh just before I go as well um, is uh, using the OBS software I can actually now do 
all my videos, well, 99% of my videos will be live. We'll be just live now. Um, I'll be doing sales updates. Well, actually, I might record sales updates saying that. Yeah, I might have uh, messed up a little bit. Sales updates I might do live if I can stomach nothing going wrong on them. But because I feel like sales updates are... Things go wrong more on sales updates for some reason than with haul videos. Haul videos seem more straightforward, but with sales updates, I always get things wrong or something. But um, I'm, what I might do is I'll still record it using the OBS software, but I will just upload it like a few minutes after I've recorded it. Um, but basically, that means that all the content should be fresh, very, very new. Um, so, you know, I won't record a sales update. Because some days, what I'll do is I'll record a sales update, and then I will actually wait days and days and days and then edit it. And then it's been like two weeks since I recorded it. But you, you're watching it like, you know, two weeks later because I've not got uh, around to editing it. So this is going to make it so much more fresh, the content. Um, and it means also that I don't have to stick to just doing 10 sales. I can do more if I want to. Although I will probably still will stick to that 10 to 15 sales in an update range. Um, because, it, you know, if you're getting more than that, you're just boring people. You're going on for about half an hour, 45 minutes doing a sales update. So I will do that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I will probably stick to the 10 to 15 uh, sales range. Um, also, that means that I can have my webcam inlaid on the screen with OBS, which is another reason I wanted to, to get this up and running. Because then when I do a sales update, I can have my webcam there and I can be talking to you and instead of it just being the whole screen being captured. Uh, that's why I kind of still went back to doing uh, the video on my iPhone for sales updates. But anyway, I'm just rambling now. Um, yeah, sorry, doing it yourself, Lifestyle. I did see you. Yeah, hi there. Um, where have we got? Oh, sorry, are you just saying hi, Adam, to someone else? <laughs> to another Adam? Oh, right. Um, we need a weekend live one. You, you mean a weekend live chat? Well, this is the thing. I... I was thinking of doing maybe a Saturday live chat, as I spoke about the other week, but I'm, I'm just going back on it now, because I don't know what to talk about. I mean, Thursday Talks is the live stream where I have a chat about general updates, and I might show a few items at a haul, um, and I just have a bit of a laugh as well on Thursday Talks. You know, these kind of streams, I'm doing a haul, and then obviously sales updates are a separate thing. But what would I talk about? Unless I had guests on or something like that. But I feel like so many people are just doing a live stream where they have guests on. And, you know, that's fine. But I don't want to just follow what everyone else is doing. I want to do something unique and different. Like, you know what's really been, I've really, really enjoyed every week. If you haven't checked it out, please do check it out. It's called... Uh, the auction show, and it's on a channel called uh, Mothership Pro Mothership Products. The guy's name is Dwayne Hale, really good guy. And what he's actually done is he, every Saturday night now, he does an auction show, and I believe he's actually booked up for guests to go on the show till like September, October now, which is crazy. And it's a really fresh new thing he's got, a really fresh new idea. And what they're basically doing, if you you know follow the show is they uh, they get resellers on the show and then the resellers um, auction off products on the YouTube channel um, and they start everything off at a dollar and uh, if you, you probably most of you'll know Golden Finger Picker Chad um, he was on there last week and pe people have started doing these like mystery boxes and um, Chad put like this mystery box or this mystery bag on and it actually got bid up to $490, I believe it was. Um, so it's really taken off for Dwayne and it's a great new fresh idea. And I'm trying to think of something like that, something different, something fresh, something new, uh, opposed to just doing a random Saturday night chat, you know? Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, that auction show is crazy. Fun. Yeah, it's great. I love watching it. I love, love watching it. Um, and I am going to, I, I want to stay up one night and actually bid on some of the items. I don't mind if it's going to cost me a bit of shipping, you know, because obviously we're in the UK and most of the guys on it are, U, are in the US. But if it costs me a bit of shipping, I mean, I would have really liked some of them, uh, one of those T-shirts, Chad ads. That would have been really cool. It's kind of like, um, 
like they're my sort of celebrities and I like want a piece of their lives or something. It's getting really weird, but uh, but yeah, I would have loved that. Um, right then, let's see. The chat's moving up quite quickly now. Have we got more people in? Oh no, we still got thirty-two people in. Uh, right, sorry. On Saturday, you could do a bake with ads, Joe. Yeah, but the thing is, it, it's not reselling, is it? It needs to be... F and, all right, yes, you could have a bit of a laugh on a Saturday night, and it doesn't all have to be serious and about reselling, but it does have to be something about reselling, at least. Um, uh, that's fine, got nothing to hide. Oh, what's all this going on? Oh, I don't like doing this, because I can't seem to scroll up the chat very well. Uh, power reselling is in the chat. Keep it clean Thursday. The grandparents will be helping out with the haul. Well, yeah, I know I will. I, I keep it clean on this channel anyway. What's this cat thing? Ads finally got some... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to read that. But no, um, yeah, I've got a cat. Um, I, I don't know whether she'll join us for the live stream tomorrow. Maybe she will. Um, I think she's around. Well, she obviously she's around the house somewhere now, but she's not. She's not up here. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'd say I've got a video just dedicated to uh, the cat on Friday. So whoever wants to watch that can watch that. It's only about 10, 15 minutes or so, and it's not all to do with the cat. There is a little bit of a haul video, video in it uh, to keep some people like on the reselling bandwagon. Um, but yeah, um, I have got a cat, which is cool. And I know you know that, David, because I've talked to you anyway about it. Um, do you job lot diecast or sell piecemeal? Piecemeal? I don't know what piecemeal is. It's just piecemeal doesn't mean just individually. Um, yeah, I mean, so there might be one in that lot I'll sell, sell individually. Like, if I, I got a haul from the auction of diecast a while back and... There was some in there that was were definitely worth selling individually. I sold a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang one for about six, 15, 16 quid, which was heavily play-worn. I sold uh, Joe's car, which was heavily, heavily play-worn, for about 22 quid plus postage. So certainly there's some die-casts that are, well, there's a lot of die-casts that are worth selling individually, but n none of those, maybe one of those ones I actually will end up selling individually. Uh, right. One video a day is plenty, exactly it is, yeah. I can't even do one video a day, to be honest. I don't have enough to talk about. Right, where are we now? Does the cat play with your items? I'll tell you what it does, or what she does, is she goes, when I have my parcels on here, she likes to jump up onto my parcels, and, uh, not necessarily scratch them or anything, but just jump to, to each one and have a little play with them. Um, I try and keep her away from my items, to be honest. I mean, she has been in the spare room a couple of times, but a lot of the stuff in there now is actually it's actually quite condensed now, believe it or not. Um, and a lot, of stuff, a lot more stuff is in boxes. There is still stuff on the top. But I definitely don't want to go in near things, well, for one at the moment, near Lego minifigures, because she's very small at the moment, even when she's bigger. Really not near Lego minifigures because she might choke or something on one of them. I don't want to go in near plush toys because then she's going to get hair on them or anything like clothes. I don't really want to go in near them. Um, the funny thing, I had a little bit of a joke with myself before I got the cat. I thought to myself, oh no, I can't, I can no longer put from a pet free home in my listings. I don't do that anyway. I did used to do that. But um, I thought it was quite funny, you know, because I, I can't do that anymore. Um... We've got Nick and Andrea, or, or just Nick in the chat there. Um, hi, guys. Um, yeah, I'm using the OBS now, so it is working. If I can do it, Nick, you're, you're sure to be able to do it. I am not. I am not tech savvy at, at all with this sort of stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm fine with computers and stuff, but not with the OBS, with all the bit weight. And, oh, no, I'm not, not tech savvy like that. Um, hi, Nick. Ads is going to do a live hat auction in a minute. No, I'm not. I'm not. But I did think um, that might be a good idea in the future because I've got quite a lot of hats and I do need to get rid of a few because <laughs> uh, they are getting quite m mounted up there really. What I want to do, and I know I've said uh, conflicting view to this in the past, is I want to get rid of um, some of the 
not lower value ones, but I mean like the the ones that I don't like very very much or the less quality ones to replace them with better quality ones. Now I know in a video like three months ago I said, oh I'm never getting rid of any of the hats. I want all of my hats and I don't care if they're less quality or good quality or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, over time your opinions change. Um, so yeah, I am going to get rid of a few of my low value hats. If anyone wants one of my hats, you know, that I'm getting rid of, you can just have it. You know, I mean, I don't mind. I don't think I've got any fans that are that dedicated that we want a piece of my little world, I suppose. But yeah. Um, no lag or noise issues at all. Uh, OBS working good. Great. Thank you very much, Lucy. Um, it, as I say, it still keeps saying that I've got a high CPU, but I keep saying to you guys, but I'm going to rectify that, hopefully. Um, I'll super chat ads to do a dance while wearing lots of hats. No, no, oh god, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Um, ad is a hat snob now. No, I, I'm, okay, yeah, I am a bit, but to be honest, I just want, I want to streamline my collection. I want some really nice pieces. I mean, there's some hats that I'd absolutely love. I would love some really expensive hats, but I just can't afford them at the moment. But when, I, I always think to myself, you know, when I'm in my late 30s, early 40s, if you want to start a collection, I really do think, like, you're, you're sort of, once you get into that stage in life, you know, maybe even a bit older, maybe sort of more my dad's age, around 50, um, that's a good time to start doing your collections because you might have a bit more money then readily available, especially if you've been in business for a long time because um, you'll have been built up a strong business by then. So you've got the money to, you know, spend a little bit here and there on a, a lavish item that you want. Um, but there's a lot of collections I actually want and I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to fulfill them all unless I come into a lot of money. Like I want to have a collection of vintage metal toy advertising signs from really like probably the 50s to the 70s maybe maybe a bit earlier um but we are quite hard to come by in this country i have looked online to see if i can get them but they're you know, quite a bit of money online i mean not terrible i mean i could buy them now but yeah um right then i will get off now because i'm, I'm i've done my haul and i'm just rambling and i'm just gonna ramble about nonsense and just keep you all here forever so um Ads is going to do the dance of the seven hats. <laughs> the seven hats. Um, Hyper Picker, 10 minutes ago, I would have said 95%, but the way Ads is going, I would say 10%. What's this about? One second. Oh, the live chat keeps freezing up for me. Uh, hi, all. How much did I miss? <laughs> oh, right. That's, yeah, I get it now, yeah. Yeah, you've missed 95%, yeah. Uh, right, so I will leave it yeah, there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I, I think it's all right. I think it's been okay, this stream. Um, so that's cool. I sorted it. I've got there in the end, which is awesome. Um, and I will see you tomorrow at half one with my grandparents for Thursday talks and a haul, an auction haul. Got some cool items. If you want to have a quick, I'll give you a quick little taste of what I've got. I've got some Shelly pottery, which is quite nice. I've got some die cast, which we've just seen there, but not particularly amazing die cast, unfortunately. I didn't win any Lego lots of vintage toys, which I was annoyed about because I really wanted to win some of them. And I've got a whole host of other things I won't divulge anymore. So, yeah, I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. So, see you very soon, guys.